as the dance and fitness industry is moving online, uh, there's a huge issue that the uh, dance teachers and the fitness teachers face. How do you avoid the syncing issues between the sound and the video? I'm Arun, founder and director of Salsa Madras, a dancer and teacher for over 12 years, and I'm here to explain you how to solve that issue with Zoom. I'm going to explain how I um, found a way around it. Uh, it might work for some, it might not work for some. So it's up to you and please let me know how it goes, okay? Firstly, I, you need a device, your laptop, whichever is your device, laptop, your iPad or the phone, where you connect to the Zoom from. Secondly, you need a speaker that gets the output for your classes. So I am using something called the Noisy Box that is from uh, my own city, Chennai, uh, so you can look about it. I put them in the description below. Third, you need a mic. I'm using a Rode Wireless Go uh, Bluetooth mic, one of the best in the business, uh, for my classes. Now, you're going to set up your Zoom call and you're going to need a couple of other things. Now, the firstly, what you would need is a cable, a splitter. So you're going to use a splitter like this. The first one is a three pin at the end and then you have two splitters on the other side and this goes into your device. The secondly, you're going to take a regular aux cable and then you're going to plug it to, to um, uh, in this case I'm going to plug it to my green one and I'm going to use the cable that came with my mic into the, the pink one. Please check which uh, colors, which are cable that you buy and check with that. Yeah? And this is, uh, is, is a two pin and the other one is also a two pin, the aux cable which I connect to the speaker. Now, when you connect to the classroom, automatically the mic is your external mic and your speaker is the external speaker. So both of them are external devices. Now, when I'm doing my classes, I'm going to be speaking from a mic. So I'm going to be clear, even if I'm going to be standing far from the uh, camera and I'm going to be loud and clear for who has uh, been listening to me. Yeah. Now, at the same time, when I'm going to play the music, the, when I start play, I'm going to be listening the music on my speaker. I'm going to place the mic next to my speaker. And the audio from the speaker is filtered from the mic and it goes directly to your uh, students. Now, because you hear me uh, and see me at the same time as I'm speaking through my mic, you will also hear the song and the video at the same time. Now, what is the difference is the clarity of uh, the sound or the song from the mic is a lot clearer than uh, you just play the sound normally from far and do the classes. So all you have to do is to place your mic next to your um, um, the sound output and then you're going to be dancing and it's going to sync in place. And this is very simple and you don't have to share the screen because when you share the screen, the problem is uh, there is obviously a lag uh, in, in how uh, people perceive it and you don't want to expect your students to switch on the mic uh, or switch on the Wi-Fi on and off to be able to sync with you again. So this is a very simpler idea to address your issue. Now I'm using an external mic and an external speaker and I also use an external webcam so my video my audio uh, input and audio output on external devices that I'm connecting to my um, laptop. In my case, I use my laptop as the device. And then I, I connect through the classes and it's been working quite fine and effective for the last few weeks uh, since we started the classes. We've been doing the classes for about four months, almost every day, and we have to change different settings. And this seems to be the most uh, effective option to address this issue um, on uh, the syncing with audio and video. Let me know how it goes and if you have any other suggestions or if you want uh, any other queries to be addressed, please let me know in the comment section and good luck with your classes.